Hi there, welcome to Wajis channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to calculate important measurements in sewing. Just in case you did not have the opportunity to take your client's measurement or you did not get a complete sent in measurement. But please, when you have the opportunity, please take the measurement, the accurate measurement. So this video serves as a guide. Let us get straight to it. These are my tools. I'll start off with marking out a baseline where all everything will start from. I didn't find this baseline straight, so I decided to draw another one. So let's go. Start up with your baseline, and then the first thing you have to calculate is your armhole measurement, which will be your chest line. To do this, you'll be dividing your bust circumference by six, and then the result you get, you add 1.5 inches to it. That is, if your bust is 40, you divide it by six, and then you add 1.5 inches to it. So that gives 6.7 plus 1.5, you have 8.2. So you're just going to calculate this vertically, okay, as your armhole measurement. So that is how to get your armhole measurement. I'm going to mark this on different areas, yes, before connecting my lines. Okay, so the next thing to calculate is your boss point. Yeah, for your boss point, you'll be dividing your boss circumference by 4. And then the results you get, you're going to add one inch to it. So if your bust is 40, you divide it by four, your results add one inch to it. So this gives 11. So from that point, you're going to be marking 11 inches in different places before squaring out these lines. Okay. So then, of course, we'll move on to the under bust point. So usually, the under bust is the bust point plus 3.5 inches or boss points plus 4 inches depending on how big the person is if your boss is about 36 you can use 3.5 it is over that you can use 4 inches to get your under boss point so this is me connecting the line so we have gotten our ammo boss point and then our under boss so now to get your boss band that is your nipple to nipple measurement divide your boss circumference by 4 and then minus 2 from the result that is 40 minus 4 minus 2 okay this is if your boss measurement is 40 please then after that you divide your result by 2 of course as we always do then mark on these lines before connecting these lines if you're finding this video helpful please like and subscribe at this point if you haven't i'll really appreciate that for your across back or shoulder measurements divide your boss circumference by 4 then the result you get subtract two from it i'm using 40 here as an example please feel free to use your boss measurement when you are drafting okay so your results just mark that across and then i usually mark mine both ways so that i can get a very straight line the next thing we'll be doing is to create our armhole curve but first we'll slant our shoulder by simply coming down on that armhole line by one inch and slanting it down to three inches like you see me do you use your rule to connect this line and then you mark your bust measurements divided by four and then you get the midpoint of this ammo line yes what you see me doing i'm marking it after this one inch slanted down to reduce bulginess on the ammo okay so you can come in by one inch if you do not have your curve to connect the line or use your curve to just connect these lines like so i went on to mark my waist measurements divided by four and connected this line there is a detailed video on how to draft a basic body it's very detailed and easy the link to this video is in my description box below so now i took in my darts okay just so you see how you're taking your data is by half inch on both sides and connecting it back to that line so here i wanted to show you how to do your bust tightening and so i marked one inch on both on one side and two inches on the other side and then i realized that oh my god this is the bust point and not the under bust i worked with i assumed that that was the under bust and half length but just in case you want to know how to tighten your under bust and give your bust hair a perfect fit the link is in my description box to how to draft a bust hair another extra tip is to mark the midpoint of your shoulder slant and connect it to one inches above your bust point that is if you're working with a bust that is above 38 please if it is below 38 please link this line directly to the bust point okay go on to mark the neckline of your choice if you want to know how to draft a perfect neckline different styles 
please see my description box i drafted about 13 trendy necklines that i feel you will find helpful the link is in my description box below after doing this please go on and cut because we are done if you found this video helpful in any way please like and subscribe share and leave your questions in the comment section i would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching see you in my next video